it is clear that we cannot open schools at this time. Good evening, graduates, parents, and loved ones. My name is Jen Leishman, and I consider myself very fortunate to the, be the principal of Fort Francis High School and have the opportunity to stand here tonight in celebration of our 2021 graduates. I'd like to welcome everyone near the football field and far, our parking lots to our outdoor graduation ceremony. What a year it has been, and boy, do we have something to celebrate tonight. At this moment, as our ceremony is about to begin, I am so very thankful that we can all be here together celebrating one of life's most important milestones, high school graduation. As I look around, I realize how many people have worked so hard and have come together as a school community to make this happen. I cannot express how thankful we are as administration, as, as administration for this team at Fort Francis High School. The endless hours of planning and organizing is the only way that this could happen tonight. Thank you dearly to the teachers, EAs, custodians, and secretaries for your team effort. You are truly amazing, an amazing group of people, and Fort Francis High School is blessed to have you. There are three trees on our stage tonight. One is to honor the 215 Indigenous children that were located in Kamloops Indian Residential School. The second tree is for one of our students, Trey Thompson, Who's, who left us this year, but his humor and wit touched those who knew him. Our th third tree is for Billy Drennan, who we lost in the spring. Billy was a dynamic individual and his friends from Fort High remember and share memories that were made. I'm going to ask right now that we just take a minute to remember the loss of these children. Thank you. Parents, guardians, family members, and staff, you have all played 
an integral part in our graduates' lives, and you will forever be appreciated for the unconditional support that you give. Graduates, each of you should be incredibly proud of yourselves as you walk this stage tonight and appreciate that you are surrounded by those who believed in you and what you could achieve. Thinking back to a year ago at this time, we never could have imagined that we would still be altering our graduation ceremony due to a pandemic. What I can imagine though, are the many life lessons you have learned throughout these challenges, challenges and how someday you will come back and understand how sometimes life's biggest challenges can end up being our biggest teachings. You have learned patience, determination, perseverance, and positivity. These four qualities can in fact change your course or pathway in life. How have you shown these admirable qualities? Well, let's reminisce for a minute. In September, we welcomed you back to a quadmester moved you into specific cohorts, only allowed you to use specific washrooms with a limited number of people. You had to wear masks, understand course material taught by your teachers who were completely masked and goggled, repeatedly request that you sanitize your hands and that you social distance. Then March arrived, March break arrived. Well, just kidding, it, it actually did not arrive. But April break did come, and then we found out that we would be moving to online classes. And this is how our year ended. I remember something a colleague and friend once said to me. When something happens out of your control, you have two options. You can be negative and focus all your energy on negative thoughts, be angry, or feel like you were done wrong. Or you can try to deal with it through a positive lens and accept it. Regardless, you have no control over what has happened. Throughout, but you do have control over your attitude and your outlook. Throughout all of these changes and disappointments this year, you had two choices, to be negative or angry, or to be patient and positive. You graduates chose the latter and that is remarkable. What we as a staff want you to know is that even though we didn't have the pleasure of spending the last few months with you in person in the school, you have left an everlasting impression on us. You will be a group that will never be forgotten and not because of COVID-19, but because of who you are as individual people, how you represented yourself through challenging times and because of, your positive, because of the positive attitude that you chose to have. I want to thank you tonight for your perseverance, perseverance and determination. Thank you for not giving up. I know there were many times when you had to get up for class, meaning you had to sit up in your bed and turn your Chromebook or your laptop on, when all you really wanted to do was sleep. And even if you did nap here and there, you, need, you did what needed to be done to finish off your credits and be here tonight. I hope you truly realize what an accomplishment this is. Many of you held jobs, you babysat, you helped with siblings, with your siblings' schoolwork, all the while still maintaining your grades. Please never underestimate the challenges you overcame in the last year to be here. You missed out on extracurricular activities such as sports, musicals, groups, and outdoor adventures. You could have used this as a reason to not push yourself to be here tonight, but you didn't. Shortly, you will walk across the stage and receive your diploma. Hold your head high. Do remember something though. Sometimes life is tough but there are people who care and love you and are there to support you. If you feel alone, always ask someone to help you out. This year has been tough at times and do not punish yourself if you had some bad days or weeks. Tonight is about celebrating and it's about um, starting the next chapter of your life. 
Enjoy every moment of it. Take those pictures with your family, even if it's the last thing you want to do. Reminisce about high school memories and pat yourself on the back for the amazing job you have done. You are the Fort Francis graduating class of 2021. Trust me when I say that nobody will have the stories to share like you will with your families. You will definitely trump that story that many of your fam family members probably tell about having to walk uphill five miles every day to school. Please, they have nothing on you. Enjoy your graduation, enjoy your night, and please be safe. Good evening, parents, family, teachers, staff, friends, and of course, the graduating class of 2021. We finally made it. We have all accomplished one of the early milestones in our lives, all while navigating a turbulent time full of uncertainty. Over the last four years, we've learned a lot. Mr. Fisher taught us how to factor a binomial. Mr. Spooner explained the inner workings of stoichiometry and Mr. Michaud taught us how to swear in French. All of this knowledge, carefully instructed by our dedicated teachers, will no doubt be valuable as we go forward in life. And now, while the very nature of the subject is already becoming a cliché, I must address the elephant in the room, or rather, the field. The everlasting coronavirus pandemic has radically changed the lives of people around the world, and we will feel its effects for years to come. Our school has been back and forth between in-person and online learning, causing students and educators to adapt to entirely new teaching styles overnight. The 9th and 10th grade are the only two normal years of high school we will ever get to experience. We've missed out on so much. While I wouldn't exactly call myself an athlete, unless you count almost making it to OFSA for cross-country skiing, I know that many of my classmates felt the absence of athletics offered at Fort High not to mention all the clubs, concerts, musicals, celebrations, dances, and more that will forever be a 10th grade memory. To put it plainly, losing the last year and a half of high school sucked. However, our perseverance and resilience throughout this pandemic will set us up to face many of life's challenges, and the future does look promising. On behalf of the graduating class, I would like to take a moment to thank all of you here today and those watching at home. Thank you to the school and our family and friends for the continuous support. It has been instrumental to our success. Although graduation is often a time to reflect on the past, it's also a time to look forward. Some are deciding to dive into their careers, others are furthering their education, and the rest are just going with the flow for now. We all have very different paths to take, which will all have their own unique rewards and challenges. If there is one important thing I have learned in my teenage years, it is to seek out discomfort. Lately, this has been challenging as it is quite comfortable to stay at home and endlessly scroll through TikTok. However, discomfort is what led me to where I am standing at this moment. Don't ask my teachers about this, but I think I've always been a quiet kid. Over the last year, I've really made a conscious effort to be uncomfortable. I've been branching out, making new friends, even changing up my style. And I'm so grateful I did, for I've made so many memories and connections that will last a lifetime. We are about to jump headfirst into the real world. A world without mom and dad to pay the bills. A world where we must cook our own meals. And unfortunately, a world where we have to do our own laundry. This may be exceptionally challenging, since I doubt more than a handful of seniors consistently got out of bed before noon on e-learning days. Adulthood will be unforgiving and difficult at times. However, our transition into this next chapter is the last time we will have a clean slate to start anew. Right now is your time to choose your own path. As a final message to the graduating class of 2021, learn to take risks and to be vulnerable. You will find in life that personal growth is always accompanied by discomfort. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you and congratulations.